we know that the fork system call is used to create a child process so a parent process will call this fork system call and this will create a child process which will be the duplicate of the parent process so a copy of the parents address space will be created for the child whatever was the parents address space a similar address space will be created for the child process so whatever pages were belonging to the parent similar pages will be created in the child process also now we know that once a child process has been created as soon as it is created it will usually invoke the exec system call so that it can load a new program in this address space so the copying of the parents address space now becomes unnecessary or not required so initially the parents pages were copied to create the child now if the child is loading another program by using this exec system call then why should the parents pages be copied over here so this becomes unnecessary so we use a technique which is called a copy on write technique so this allows the parent and the child processes initially to share the same pages that means that if there was a parent process p1 and there's a process which has been created now which is the process 2 so this is the parent process and this is the child process so if a b and c were the pages of the process a the the same pages can be used by the child process so the child process will also have access to the same pages rather than creating new pages for the child so the parent and the child processes will share the same pages and no duplicate copies will be created now these shared pages will be marked as copy on write pages so only those pages that can be modified will be marked as copy on write now pages which cannot be modified like pages which are containing executable code they can still be continued to be shared by the parent and child but pages can that can be modified like the pages which contain data they will be marked as copy on write so all the pages of the parent process now page a page b and page c can be accessed by the child process now if either process either the parent process or the child process if it wants to write to a shared page then a copy of only that shared page will be created so whichever process wants to write on that page now will be able to write on the new page that is created so the new copy which has been created the 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 process can write in that particular copy like let's say for example initially page a page b and page c were being shared by both the parent and the child process now when let's say the child process wants to write into page c so a copy of page c will be created now initially page a page b and page c were all marked as copy on write pages that means if any process wants to write then copy it make a copy of it so now if process 2 wants to write on page c but process 1 does not want to write or does not want to use the modified data it is not required that process 1 should be using that data so a copy of page c has been created and now the process 2 can use to this copy to write on this particular page now process 2 will no longer have access to this original copy it belongs only to the other process if process 1 now wants to modify page b then a copy of page b will be created and process 1 will not have access to the original copy but on the new copy that has been created and the other process will continue to use the original copy so the unmodified pages 
they will still be shared by the parent and child process. But whichever page is to be modified, only a copy of that particular shared page will be created. So this allows a more efficient process creation because now at process creation, all the pages of the parent do not have to be duplicated for the child. So the initial time at the initial stage, both parent and child can share the same pages and as and when the either process which wants to modify a page then only the modified pages are copied. Now the free pages whenever a process wants to create a new page or a new page has to be copied it has to be allocated a new frame. So for that new frame the pages are allocated from a pool of zero fill on demand pages or frames. So fill on demand means that on demand means that as and when they are required and zero fill means that the, the content of those frames are erased before they are allocated. So the pool of the zero fill on demand pages should have free frames for fast demand page execution. So this is the concept of copy on write and it creates a efficient process creation technique.